Yesterday, um, our Dell computer laptop died. You'd switch it on and it just instantly shut itself down again. And you did that repeatedly. The, the wee lights flashed, but uh, nothing else. So I took it down to uh, the Upper Newton Arts Road near Stormont and there's a computer re repair shop down in there and the guy David looked at it and said it wasn't worth fixing because he, he would, for the parts he would have to, um, you, you could buy a new computer or almost a new computer. So that was no good. So decided to run with that and he uh, recommended uh, Lenovo, uh, Len Lenovo, I don't know how you pronounce it, never heard of it, he said it was good, and if it does make us as well as the Dell for the last uh, five years, then it'll be doing well. He said, uh, have you been using the computer much, the laptop? I said yes. He says I could tell by the state of the keyboard, you could hardly read the letters. <laughs> so, um, £250 for a nine month old reconditioned model and, uh, and a nice 15, uh, a nice 17 inch screen which I like actually, I like the big screen. Um, so uh, we worked out for that but we've got good value out of the other one I have to admit you know. This is the back garden. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the uh, wildflowers have died back. There's a few still there. There's uh, the Flanders poppies and there's marigolds and there's uh, Californian poppies there and the orange. Uh, the rest of them have died off. Um, there's rhubarb over there. Looking back here, this is what is behind us now my uh, former neighbour's uh, back garden which is a wildlife wilderness and I don't know if you can quite see this but look look where the sunflowers have got to now these, I think these were actually planted in our garden uh, you know sunflowers I think these come from the seeds of those uh, that were planted in our back garden last year and we cold tits and uh, we birds um, take the seeds and they hide them. They they store them up and uh, they drop them. And and there's where they have arrived to. And I, I'm a wee bit cheesed off because these actual sunflowers are doing better than my sunflowers. And I'm saying, what? These weren't staked like mine were. These weren't watered like mine were and slug pellets put round and look at how good they are. But that's nature. And they, these uh, red flowers over here come from uh, our back gardens as well. <laughs> and they're doing well in this wilderness. So that's a sort of a wee vlog or blog or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. And uh, my motorbike's up for MOT on Tuesday and I'm deliberating whether to buy another one. Uh, if I get one year's MOT, there's storm at the way there you can see. If I get one year's MOT, I, it'll sell far easier. Uh, it's not worth an awful lot, so if anybody's interested, uh, it'll be bel below 500 uh, quid, 500 notes. <laughs> the first one that gives me £500 for it, I would grab them even. It'll be within a year's MOT on it, hopefully, if it passes. Uh, I've done £150 worth of work to it there last week. I had it into my mate, Billy McCutcheon, down the Armour Road, who does a good job. And he sorted it all out. So there's a year's there'll be a year's MOT on it, and if you're interested, Nighthawk 450 SC, very rare bike, but it, uh, 
I don't know what it would be. Uh, some something customy, uh, and not as old, obviously. Something from the nineties. Uh, I would even consider low rider type thing. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs>